Hi, this is uh, Joris from EtherCast. For those of you that have been following Ethereum for a while, you might have heard of uh, EtherX. It's a decentralized exchange built on uh, Ethereum. They announced a service, uh, I think, 10, 9 months ago. Also, their, their source code has been uh, released on, uh, on GitHub, GitHub uh, EtherX. Activity has uh, picked up again recently for uh, PUC8. Um, so I wanted to give you a preview of what this, uh, this dApp is all about, what you can do with this exchange. And, uh, and give you a little demonstration. Maybe another time I can interview some of the, the developers behind the EtherX for some more advanced topics. But this is just me uh, running through it uh, myself. Um, so I did check out the, uh, the code base on, um, uh, on GitHub and I deployed it locally on my Ethereum chain. Um, I'm running a, a local Ethereum node and using the deployment uh, tool that, uh, that came with it, uh, PyEPM, you can uh, deploy the set of contracts and it will set up a little test market. So if you want to try it out yourself, um, look into this uh, PyEPM with which you can uh, deploy the entire market. Of course, this is great for, for developing. So for this demo, I'm using the, the LF0 client. So here um, I'm running uh, LF0, I'm running a local test server. Uh, but eventually this will uh, be up on some uh, some public address. I think on the uh, GitHub page, yeah, it says etherx.github.io slash etherx. That's where it should be deployed. I don't think this is a recent version. So that's why I'm uh, connecting to my local uh, deployment. But um, maybe this will be updated by uh, by Vincent, the, the main developer of, uh, of etherx uh, tomorrow. Um, so opening up um, etherx. Um, I have my, my own balance of uh, 255 Ether. Um, and now in the market, there are three types of subcurrencies available. Uh, these are for testing purposes, but you can create your own subcurrency and, and, and announce them to the, to the market if you, if you want. So it has the ETX, CAC and uh, FAP subcurrency. Um, actually, if you, go to, um, if you go to GitHub, in the contract section, Here's actually the code for for one of these subcurrencies. So if you want to create your own subcurrency, you can use this as a, as a basis. And as long as you respect their their API, it should be fully compatible with the EtherX market. So this is uh, very powerful. Um, in the README, they have completely explained uh, all the installation steps, as well as the API description, how the the market works, and how you can create. Uh, your own contracts that are compatible with their uh, with their currency the subcurrency API. I don't have any of these subcurrencies right now, so I want to buy some of the market. Um, I can enter a new trade myself, or I can look into the order book. So there have been some some bids and asks published. All of them are from the from the test uh, setup. These people wanna wanna sell 50 of these ETX subcurrency for 0.25 ether apiece. Um, so if I want to buy this, I click on the this little uh, order fulfillment button. I get a confirmation. Are you sure you want to want to buy this? I say yes. Um, also LF0 is giving me a heads up. Uh, this should be customized using the, the net spec in the future. Ideally, I should be having some. Oh, there we go. I just bought 50 ETX um, and it is listed as available. So it is, I own it, but it is in my EtherX balance. Um, I can also cash it out to my own wallet if I, if I want. But if I want to trade with any of these subcurrencies, I need to first deposit them into the, the EtherX uh, contract and then I can trade with it. Um, so maybe now I want to uh, sell this. So I had 50. I want to sell 25 for 0.30 each. I say place trade. I get a confirmation. Yeah. And now 25 of these ETX subcurrencies are in the order book. And if all is well, ah, there we are. Now it's uh, also listed up in the order book. So my trade is uh, is there together with uh, the other ones. If I want to buy 25 more for 0.25, I 
and I say play straight, I get a I get a confirmation. And I bought twenty five more from the from the market. Um, I can I can switch between sub currencies. They also have an order book and the Fepons, but I don't any of the I don't own any of these uh, myself. Going back to ETX, the last trading price price is listed, and maybe maybe a trade graph is shown, but it might not have enough data points yet to be able to uh, to display this. Uh, could be that a couple more trades are required before this gets uh, updated. Um, so looking at the other tabs um, in the markets, I get an overview of what markets are there, what was the last trading price, uh, how much I own, uh, both in my Etherex accounts, how many I have in my wallet, and, and, and how many I have in active trades. Um, here's some statistics on the last trading price. I'm not sure how up to date this is. That's one thing that we need to ask. Oh, and here it's showing a bar graph of the of the trades. Um, might might need some work. Uh, the wallet section, I think it's still under construction. So idea is that it would show all the transactions that have happened in the in the system, uh, but that's not uh, that's not ready yet. Uh, and the tool's quite useful. I can deposit and withdraw um, some of these sub currencies into my um, into my own account. So I have 50 ETX available. Say I want to withdraw 30, I can uh, I can do that here. Um, believe this transaction needs to be mined. And now I have 30 in my in my own wallet outside of the Etherex uh, market. Uh, you can also send it to to somebody else. Um, and this is if you want to create your own sub currency, you can register it with the market and specify what's the the the, the ticker code for it, the contact address, uh, what's the minimum amount you want to trade, how many decimals of position there there should be should be shown, and then register it so it uh, it would appear. Um, yeah, not much more under uh, under help. Um, ah, here my active trades are are listed. Okay, so it's um, as you can see, it's still it's still pretty rough, but uh, already quite quite promising of what you could do on such a decentralized exchange. And uh, the really great thing is that everybody can create and register their own sub currencies and participate in the system um, without any risk of the exchange itself going uh, going down and running away with your uh, with your money mm -hmm.